Okay, welcome back. Uh, this video is to talk about the error called illegal start of expression. So there's two types of errors, right? We have syntax errors, things that um, are, are not correct, and then we have a lot of exceptions which get thrown at, at runtime. This one happens to be a syntax type error. And it's very common, especially when you're starting out in programming. So in this example, I have my main method, and I thought, well, you know, the first thing I want to do is I'll create a method to get my user data to return some kind of string, like maybe their name or something. And I typed it, and I'm looking at it going, wow, that's, that's the exact pattern I'm supposed to make for a method, right? It's got an access um, <clears throat> identifier, public, private, or protected. Uh, you know, in this case, it's static. It returns a string. I, I've got a name. I've got brackets. It should be good. But I get this error, illegal start of expression. And what that's telling us is actually here, we have the main method. And you can see highlighted in yellow, you can see the start of the main method and then the end of the main method. Then inside of it, I have my new method, this get user data method. And you can't have it that way. Methods have to uh, exist onto themselves. So it makes right here. So <clears throat> this method starts and stops. And then a new method starts and stops. And then the other error that we're seeing here is it has a missing return statement. Now, <clears throat> what that means is here, when I declared the method header, it has a return type, in this case, string. It could be int or double or student or any type of object. But it's telling the system that I'm going to return something to whatever method calls it. Because there's nothing here, it says I'm missing a return statement. So all I have to do is return something. It's going to be happy. So I'm going to say return Yahoo. Okay. And then my error is going to go away. So uh, the, two, uh, the two items here, illegal start of expression, is usually a bracketing issue. So just make sure you look at the start and finish of each method. And then uh, the other one we looked at is missing return statement, which means if you say you're going to return something, in your code, you have to get to a point where you can return things. Another scenario that people get confused at is it says like if um, you know uh, five is less than four for Yahoo. Whoops. Um, in this case, it may look like we've got a return statement, but we still get this error. And the reason is this condition in the if statement, we're going to have some kind of conditional statement here. So. It's quite possible that we never get to this line of code. So it is, in this scenario, you'd have to write an else and then return at it, right? So whenever you say you return something, your code at some point has to get to a line of code that says return. And uh, otherwise, you will see that a missing return statement error. And that's the end of this video.